Such a transcendent cause must possess a number of striking properties. As the cause of space and time, this cause must transcend space and time and therefore exist non-temporally and non-spatially, at least without the universe. This cause must therefore be changeless and immaterial, since something can be timeless only if it is unchanging, and something can be unchanging only if it is immaterial. It must also be unimaginably powerful, since it created all matter and energy, space and time. Finally, and most remarkably, such a transcendent cause must be personal. Two reasons can be given for this conclusion. First, the only entities we know of which can be timeless and immaterial are either minds or abstract objects like numbers. But abstract objects don't stand in causal relations. Therefore, the transcendent cause of the origin of the universe must be an unembodied mind. Secondly, only a free agent can account for the origin of, of a temporal effect from a timeless cause. If the cause of the universe were an impersonal, mechanically operating cause, then the cause could never exist without its effect. For if the sufficient condition of the effect is given, then the effect must be given as well. The only way for the cause to be timeless but for its effect to begin in time is for the cause to be a personal agent who freely chooses to create an effect in time without any antecedent determining conditions. And thus we are brought not merely to a transcendent cause of the universe, but to its personal creator. Therefore, from the cosmological argument alone, we may conclude that a personal creator of the universe exists who is uncaused, beginningless, changeless, immaterial, timeless, spaceless, and unimaginably powerful.